gang, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be playing some Total War Run 2, as usual. <laughs> I'm bringing Thrace, or the Idrissian Kingdom, sorry. And I'm coming up against the Egyptians. Now my build is going to, of course, focus on applying my charges and keeping the enemy skirmishes busy. So what I have brought here, let's just go overhead for a second, let's go have a look at my, no, let's not, not look at my opponent's build. You can't see it all just yet. So we got Mercenary Veteran Hoplites up the front, spread out in some pretty wide formations. Uh, four Thracian Warriors and four th uh, two Thracian Nobles. Out in the flanks, I've got two Mercenary Forksmen uh, backing up my Thracian Royal Cav and my Thracian Horsemen. The same thing is happening over here. So very similar things on my wings. And I've got two Thracian Cav coming around for to get some nice recharges and scout out this whole area over here. Um, we do have my opponent's build has a couple of very nice skirmishes straight off the bat. Three mercenary Crete archers, very uh, strong units that could wreck a couple of my units in, in a couple of volleys. Uh, Thorax swordsmen at the front can deal with them. Four of them. Uh, Thorax spears as two, one on each flank. Ptolemaic cav and Egyptian cav. He has got uh, how many? Th so one levy Thorax spear. And it looks like he's got two Peltasts and another Ptolemaic Cav, which is his general. So he definitely has the tools to deal with uh, the Idrissian Kingdom. But luckily, I swear I didn't mean this, but um, I actually spawned up on the top of this map, which is very good for me because now I can get some very nice rear, some uh, downhill charges, sorry. But if he can use his Ptolemaic Cav to charge into stuff like uh, my Thracian Warriors or Thracian Nobles, that'll kind of be the end of them uh, straight away. So, yeah, you can see here I'm getting some nice shots in here into his Egyptian Cav, getting some kills. Definitely doing some HP damage. I'm actually missing with a lot of those shots, so... Good job of baiting some, some shots out of my out of my units from my opponent. He is uh, threatening with a couple of his Egyptian Cav. Uh, they are very cheap. They're not very good at anything. So I'm going to be able to deal with those units uh, fairly well. But yeah, if I can apply my charges properly and not get charged in turn by his cavalry, then I should be sweet. Even though his Egyptian cavalry are medium me melee cav, they will disrupt my charge and they probably will uh, end up destroying uh, the unit and kind of pulling them out of formation, that kind of thing. So I do have my Thracian cav over here. My, my opponent actually does a really good job of kind of um, sealing me in here. So I've actually got myself into a pretty tough position and I'm gonna take a lot of uh, unnecessary losses here trying to get out of that predicament. So very intelligent for my opponent kind of wrapping around me and making sure he can kind of seal me in. But I only managed to make it out with a, a couple of Thracian Cav uh, left over. <clears throat> Almost half of that unit gone. So straight off the bat, not doing so great. Not, not, uh, working so great at all. Now you're going to see me use some bizarre formations over here. I've got my Thracian Horsemen in uh, what's this formation? Uh, triangle is it? Jesus Christ, why can't I think? Uh, wedge, Jesus. So I'm putting them in wedge and what that will mean is I can get into combat with the Ptolemaic uh, Cavalry without taking too many losses. Um, he did pull away though so I'm going have to have to reconsider this engagement. My mercenary folksmen are going to come in here and wreck on these uh, three air spears. I'm going to have to try and support at some point. I do get straight up charges on the Thorax swordsmen, so my opponent's not going to deny me the charge. I'm going to get full uh, the full um, benefit of having the charge applied to my opponent. Over here, I do get a nice charge on the three air spears. Going to shred a couple of them before my folksmen have inevitably die out. Uh, he's going to come over here with these three air spears. He is going to thread this gap with this Ptolemaic cav. So you can see he's going into diamond formation to try and streamline his formation get through a little bit quicker. But I do have mercenary veteran hoplites coming over here to, the, to plug the gap. Um, how is this going? Thraya Spear is getting shredded by Folksman. Oh my god. Over here, a similar thing is going to be happening with these Levi Le Le Thraya Spears. The Folksmen are going to absolutely shred them. Though he is getting some nice shots with his Thraya Spears into my Thracian Royal Cav, which is not good at all. I'm going to have to try and deal with this unit very quickly. Uh, he is threading the gap with his Ptolemaic Cav, though they are in diamond formation, which is going to kind of limit how effective they are. And I do manage to catch them with my vet mercenary vet veteran Hoplites. So my opponent not doing very well on uh, on the micro there. 
I do get my Thracian Royal Cav into his Egyptian Cav, though he's going to turn around and end this guy with his Peltasts. Luckily, he turned around and picked a different target, otherwise I would be finished there. He's going to get a nice rear charge into my, my Folksman. Uh, not a very crucial unit there, so he probably should have just um, pulled out entirely, because now I can catch him with my Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Um, he did manage to finish off one of my Thracian Warriors over here, but I do have a Thracian Noble getting ready to, to kind of pounce. Though this means that I am exposed to um, enemy Archer Fire, but I am busy microing over on this flank here. We do manage to catch the uh, Ptolemaic Cav with one of my Cav units, which means that he can't run away. And I do get my Thracian Royal Cav into his uh, Ptolemaic Cav and his Peltast over here. So finishing off his uh, Egyptian Cav over on the flanks, and I'm bringing my Thracian Cav back up the hill to, uh, to support. My uh, Thracian Nobles are going to come in here and get a nice uh, flank charge onto these um, Thracian Spears and finish them off very quickly. My Thracian Royal Cav again getting into the, um, into the skirmishes and using my Thracian Nobles in different positions to kind of finish off the rest of the enemy infantry there. Do have a couple of Thracian Warriors who could come back into the fight, but uh, it's a little bit too late. And then I have another Mercenary Veteran Hot Potatoes just kind of sealing the deal, getting rid of any uh, exit strategy that he could use. Though he is getting his Ptolemaic Cav into some pretty dangerous positions, though he's not using them. Um, he could definitely go for a nice recharge on these Thracian Nobles, but he's not going to take it. I guess he must be uh, microing somewhere else on the battlefield. And it's going to enable my uh, Thracian Nobles to get a pretty devastating charge on these units and uh, rack up a couple of kills before they can run away. Definitely hacking down a whole bunch of those Ptolemaic Cav very quickly. Uh, Mercenary Forksmen are going to come and support into this fight, but it looks like it's all but over. Uh, definitely managed to to execute my plan fairly well, but my opponent didn't use his Ptolemaic Cav uh, to their best potential, didn't get the charges that he needed uh, on some pretty vulnerable units, and I was able to get my um, my only answer to those um, very heavy shot cavalry, uh, which was my, my Mercenary Veteran Hofplates into those units. So lots of kills, always lots of kills. Uh, Thracian Warriors are pretty underwhelming. I mean, they only cost 420 talons, but um, fairly underwhelming for what they are. They, they kind of get a nice charge and then they get a couple of kills, but then that wears off and then they start getting hacked down by different units. So I was actually very surprised at these mercenary folksmen uh, getting a lot of kills out in the flanks. Um, they seem to be a very nice option backing up uh, cav engagements as well. So Thracian cav, uh, getting rid of enemy skirmishes again Thracian oh sorry Thracian Royal Cap getting rid of enemy skirmishes and uh, the Thracian Nobles as expected doing a very good job the enemy Thorax Swordsman holding on and uh, end ended up beating a couple of my different Thracian Warriors and the Cretan Archers weren't really used very cost effectively so NICR1 thanks for the game dude uh, we're going to have some more games coming up very soon so stay tuned this is uh, Juju Bear signing out peace